11 years ago today, Burnout Paradise was released in stores across North America. It enjoyed one and a half years of updates, in particular online with time challenges and freeburn games not shipping for the game on day one. But outside of freeburn lobbies, there is only one full event available online. Races. The game has an option to choose an event type, but it has never had more than a single option. This was not what was originally planned in development. There is evidence in the game today that there was at least five additional events in the works. Three of these are still accessible through this very menu, but hidden by default. Those events were three variations of Stunt Run. The variations are Team Stunt Run, named in game as just plain Stunt Run, Co op Stunt Run, and Free For All Stunt Run. The translations for the strings no longer exist in the game today, so you'll see this without language file mods. For this video, all clips from the remaster version of the game will be with a language file mod. The mods are self explanatory. Team Stunt Run is Stunt Run with two teams. Co op Stunt Run is Stunt Run where everyone works together towards achieving a high collective score. And Free For All Stunt Run is similar to the Freeburn game we know today, where everyone fights for themselves. These mods were abandoned, so they don't all run perfectly out of the box, but parts do. Each one of these clips had no additional mods apart from enabling the option to display them in the menu, and also adding the translation strings. Here we see some action from Co-op Stunt Run. You can start at any junction which has a stunt run event available offline. Once you pick a start, the rest of the setup process is just like any other race. You are given the option to pick your car first, then the flybys between players occur, the traffic light start is performed. And away you go. The scoring in these stunt runs are slightly different. Notably, multipliers for collectibles like billboards and super jumps are removed, but there are new multipliers for chain. And leaping cars. The more cars you leap, the higher the multiplier awards. It's not quite as clear what chain involves, but I get awarded it once or twice in a game. At the end of the game, you get a results screen just like a race. It also seems to focus more of who did individually best rather than celebrating the collective total. But this may have been different if the mode had been finished. Next is Free Fall Stunt Run. Somewhere between 1.7 and the remaster, a bug was introduced which means that you spawn at coordinates 0, 0, 0 regardless of what junction you start at. Scoring at the top left is also bugged, but it does otherwise work normally. Here are some clips from the original version of Burnout Paradise. This is on PC, so this version is equivalent to console version 1.7. The aforementioned bugs do not occur in this version. Here is the results screen for our Free For All Stunt Run, which seems to be made from an older style results screen, so it looks a little broken. Some of the numbers here are also broken in the remaster, but does work better in old BP. Finally is Team Stunt Run. Unfortunately this one doesn't really work. Once the countdown timer in the car choice screen reaches zero, then the game doesn't progress to the event and sits here forever. The only way out is to quit the game entirely. Now this is all great, but what else would these have offered? Since these are full events like races, they could also have been played in ranked. 
Unfortunately, this doesn't currently work without caching. However, even in the remaster with its revamped client-server code, every player does still have an ELO for a team and free for all stuntman. This packet capture taken with the PC version of the remaster shows the core player stats. The set of stats which also power this part, the Paradise City Online menu, and eventually the player list in Freebun lobbies through peer-to-peer. -peer. So you can see the likes of Challenges Completed and Takedowns here. Included is ELO overall, which is your usual basic ranking points. But towards the end of this list is ELO Stunt Run Team and ELO Stunt Run Free For All for Team and Free For All Stunt Run ranking points, respectively. Note that there is no ranking system for co-op stunt run, at least in the game as it is today. Even for Free For All and Team Stunt Run there is no leaderboards however. Since it's entirely handled by the server, new leaderboards can be added or removed without any further modification to the game client. This would likely have been one of the last steps in the process anyway, and probably done while pushing the update that would have included the game mode. I've described three cut online events from the game, but I said at the start it looked to have been as much as five. First, let's look at how the game represents these events. Each event is given a number as an identifier. Online events start at 10. First, let's look at what is included in the final game. Races assigned 10, Freebun lobbies, including all the games and challenges within them, are 15, while Online Showtime is a special case at 16 due to the way it was designed. For the stunt run modes we saw today, we have Team Stunt Run at 12, Free for All Stunt Run at 14, and Co op Stunt Run at 17. As mentioned earlier, Team Stunt Run is sometimes referred to as just plain online stunt run, suggesting it was at one time the only variation. We are clearly missing 11 and 13. There are very little references left to what they could be. In both the remaster and the original Burnout Paradise, there are references to Online Unused 1 and Online Unused 3. But otherwise, these slots are marked as invalid game mode. There is one reference, however, in the original version of Burnt Paradise within the now replaced client server networking code to an online road rage and an online burning home run. What is burning home run? It is a mode that was in development well before release, as we actually have some audio recorded from DJ Atomica introducing the event. Here's what he says if you start as the runner. This is Burning Home Run. You are the runner. Race through four checkpoints to win, but if a player takes you down, they become the runner. There is another version which is identical except he just says Home Run rather than Burning Home Run. There's also a track for if you start on the other team. This is Burning Home Run. Do whatever you can to stop the runner from reaching four checkpoints. Take the runner down to take their place. The first runner through four checkpoints wins. While the slots for the two modes remain, the actual code to power the game modes does not exist in the release build of the game from what I can see, so the game modes cannot be unlocked. Any efforts to bring them back through mods would have to be from almost scratch. With all this said, the order of the online game modes would have looked like this. Now let's go back to where we started, the Create Events screen. There are a few other hidden options I will note here. I'm just going to arbitrarily swap out some of these existing options for the hidden ones for demonstration purposes, as it was the easier thing to do. Again, the translations for some of these were removed, but I'm showing them here with a modded language file. I suspect most of these options would have been for the removed game modes like Road Rage and Burning Home Run. The first option is clearly for them. It defines whether the red team has infinite boost or not. The red team were likely the chasers in Burning Home Run, or perhaps something in Road Rage depending on whether it was implemented similarly to Freeburn Road Rage or not. It may well not have been, considering the mode ended up more similar to Marked Man. The next option here is a traffic checking toggle. 
This is not to be confused with a toggle for traffic itself. Then we have an option to set the boost type. The wording of normal here as a default option sounds like this would have been the forced boost type upon vehicles that normally would have had a different one. The crash limit was likely an option for road rage, especially when you consider the default was set to 3, and there usually isn't a crash limit for races. There was another set of round limit choices going up in multiples of 2 rather than 1. The UI for this has broken over time though as seen here. This option would have been for some game mode where there were two teams and you switch sides after every round. And finally we have a time limit. There is a choice of 10, 20 or 30 minutes. This must have been for some longer running game mode, like perhaps Road Rage if it had a similar format to single player. I should note that none of these options seem to do anything as is for races and stuntmen. That's all I'm going to talk about today on Cut Online Events. Should any more information surface from further modding research, I'll make up a follow up video on it. In my next video, I'll be looking within Freeburn lobbies by investigating Cut Freeburn games.